Imagine. Imagine, your child is assigned a government official at birth to monitor all your decisions and intervene if you don't lose your Imagine. Your child begins mandatory sex education at the age of four and you have lost your right to opt out. Imagine. You lose your right to protect yourself and your family because unelected, unaccountable officials believe a child has a right to a gun-free environment. Imagine. Your child's medical records can be reviewed at any time by any physician, teacher, or government social worker in the nation without your permission. Hi, I'm Terry Beatley, and I'm here to tell you about the biggest wedge between parents and children ever conceived, and it's called the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child Treaty, which some of our senators have vowed to ratify in 2009. What does that mean? How can we oppose this? I've spoken to local Democrat and Republican committees, Tea Parties, NAACP chapter, and many churches. They were all appalled when I described the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. You will be outraged and moved to action too. The United Nations CRC Treaty takes decision-making power away from parents and it gives it to the government so it can enforce the ideological whims of the United Nations. This treaty allows the United Nations to decide what is in the best interest of the child, overriding all parental concerns. This is how it works. A committee of 18 experts sitting in Geneva has the authority to issue official interpretations of the treaty, which would be entitled to binding weight in American courts and legislatures. This would effectively transfer ultimate authority for policies in these areas to a foreign committee. This includes health, education, and family life issues like faith and discipline. I don't want the UN to be my parents. You bet. Consider the United Nations voted the Netherlands, where the legal age of consent is only 12 years old, to be one of the best places to raise children. And the United Nations also praised the Netherlands' liberal attitude toward juvenile drug and alcohol use. Don't we believe in self-government? Aren't we a nation of laws? Usually, if you don't like the laws that your politicians pass, you can kick them out at the next election. But because this is a foreign treaty, once these United Nations elitists move in, you can't throw them out. And if two-thirds of our Senate ratifies this treaty with the signature of our president, we will have lost the power to shape our own laws from what our children learn in school to when and if they even go to church. Our inheritance will be tyranny if Congress passes this treaty. Yes, it will. And once the Senate ratifies the treaty, there will be nothing you can do about it. Americans, it's time to act. This is not a Democrat or Republican issue. It is not a racial issue. It's not a rich versus poor issue. It's a parental rights issue, and the solution is to have our Congress pass the Parental Rights Amendment, which guarantees the rights of parents to direct the upbringing and the education of their children as a fundamental right. And this amendment also forbids our government from adopting treaties that modify these rights. Go to parentalrights.org now. Make sure your representative is a co-sponsor of the Parental Rights Amendment. Demand they vote no on the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child Treaty. Protect me. I need my parents. Americans, it's time to act.